Well, the Delta will be the first area in the entire state to use drones in farming and law enforcement tactics. ABC 6's Angie Casada also tells us the economic impact of these unmanned aerial vehicles. So in this particular scenario, we've got vehicle number one and vehicle number two. Three counties came together Monday morning and officially kicked off their week-long training at Cahoma Community College for what will be the first drone and law enforcement relationship in the state's history. This will be the first of many training classes, but this is the first one. Um, we've got a lot of support from our local communities. Um. Delta Southern Unmanned Aerial Systems, commonly known as drones, has partnered with Cahoma, Tunica, and Marshall County. For several others that are interested, they due to scheduling problems, um, they'll probably attend one of the next training classes that we have. All law enforcement agencies of each county and the Delta Southern team will become certified on accident reconstruction and forensics using drones and the IMS MAP360. Revolutionary. They, they are completely changing um, how uh, the, the crash investigators are doing their job. The new partnership is expected to save money. Um, in addition to the inconvenience, it costs a lot of money or we lose a lot of money in productivity. Save time. What it would take on a major accident scene, sometimes three days to put together. We can fly in 18 minutes, process in three hours, and have courtroom exhibits that uh, um, prosecutors uh, love to use. And save lives. But also the law enforcement officers that are investigating these. It's very dangerous to be out in the roadway um, conducting these investigations. This new training will also open many opportunities for employment. This has been coded in advanced training. So these will be advanced paying jobs or advanced skills that would be required to make this happen. So this would definitely put us on the map and serve as a vanguard as we move forward to premium wage jobs. Reporting in Clarksdale, I'm Angie Casada, ABC 6 News. Thanks, Angie, for that report. Now, Delta Southern UAS says those law enforcement agencies should begin using those drones by mid-June.